Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIBS Home School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Ship. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 4. So my dear student, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 5 and there is a good news for you. There is no HW today. My dear student, today's topic name from your EMB book page number 33. We shall solve odd problem. Okay. What problem number? 4, 6 and 8. 4, 6 and 8. My dear student, let us start our class. These are the question. Okay. These are the question 4, 6 and 8. I have written. Okay. In a go down question number 4. In order to solve this odd problem at first we read this question. In a go down there are 8375 sack of sugar. 11,860 sack of wheat and 12,720 sacks of rice. Find the total number of sacks in the go down. Okay. So, how can we solve? We do addition of these three number and we get the answer. So, write first. In a go down. Okay. Comma. Then we write there are. 8,375 sacks of sugar. Okay, then there are 11,860 sacks of with and there are 12,720 sack of rice okay we need to find out the total amount so in total equal to we do addition to find out the total number of sack in the go down so 500 0, 0. it will be 5 car no carrying 7 plus 6 13 13 plus 2 15 from 15 i write here 5 carrying 1 that one is added with this 3 it will be 4 4 and 8 it will be 12 12 plus 7 it will be 9 12 plus 7, 19. From 19, I write here 9. Carrying 1. That one is added with this 8. It will be 9. 9 plus 1, 10. 10 plus 2, 12. From 12, I write here 2. Carrying 1. 1 plus 1, 2. Plus 1, 3. Sec. So, answer. 32,955. Sec in the go down okay my dear student this is the solution of question number four now we shall solve question number six what is the difference between the largest and the smallest number formed by the digits the digits are six four eight and zero using is digit only once that means by using only once digit at first we make the largest number after that we make the smallest number then we find out difference and we get the answer so in order to solve in question number six we shall erase question number four first of all we write given that given that the digits are Six, four, eight, and zero. Okay. The largest now, the largest number, the largest number by using the digits is 
if we arrange this digit in descending order then we get the largest number so 8640 8640 is the largest largest number when we use this number okay so 8640 is the largest number now and the smallest number smallest number by using the digits is if we write 0 at first then the number will not the number will not that number which consists of four digits because we know that a number which is left hand side has no value so when we arrange the number in ascending order at first we write four after that we write zero then six then eight okay this is the smallest number by using these digits okay so now we find out the difference therefore the difference equal to 8640 minus 4068 so 8 to 10 we need to carry on that one is added with this 6 it will be 7 7 to 14 it will be 7 carrying on that one is added with this 0 it will be 1 1 to 6 it needs 5 and 4 to 8 it will be 4 so the answer is 4572 4572 is the difference of the largest number and the smallest number formed by the given digits i hope you have understood question number 6 next we shall solve question number 8 8 number sum of three numbers is 84025 among them two numbers are 12,450 and 37,865. So, what is the third number? My dear student, what is the third number? Suppose, sum of three number is 12. Sum of three number is 12. M of these three number, first two numbers are 2 and 3. So, what is the third number? How can we find? At first, we do addition of these two number, we get 5. Now, we subtract this 5 from the summation of three number and we get the third number. I hope you have understood. Just like this, we shall solve question number 8. First of all, we, so we do addition of the two numbers. After that, we subtract that summation from the summation of three number and we get the third number i hope you have understood so first of all we write the given two numbers is the given two numbers are 12450 and 37865 now we uh, find out the summation so the summation of two numbers is 12450 plus 37865 so 5 plus 0 5 6 plus 5, 11, carrying 1, 8 plus 4, 12 plus 1, 13, 7 plus 2, 9 plus 1, 10, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 1, 5. So, 50,315 is the summation of the two numbers. But, the summation of three numbers is given, which is 84,025. So, but the summation of three number is 
eighty-four thousand and twenty-five. So the third number is third number is we do subtraction eighty-four thousand twenty-five minus fifty thousand three hundred and fifteen now we do subtraction listen to me five and five when we subtract then we get zero again one two two it will be one then three to ten we need seven carrying on that one is added with this zero it will be one one to four we need three five to Eight, we need three. So thirty-three thousand seven hundred and ten is the answer. That means this is the third number. I hope you have understood, my dear student. This is the solution of question number eight. I hope you you have understood, my dear student. Today's class. Keep practicing at home. Abide by your parents. See you soon. Till then, assalamualaikum.